Am I the asshole? For telling my sister she's fat? I grew up in a very abusive household. I graduated high school at 17 yo so I could move out the day I grabbed my diploma. I couch surfed for a couple of months until I turned 18 and got my first apparent at 18 yo with my boyfriend. We worked minimum wage jobs, working 60 hours a week so my BF and I could afford rent. When we moved in, we only had a bed, a small 30 in TV, my BFS Xbox, and toiletries. Nothing else. Over the next two years, we began saving up money to get our first car. After getting a car we applied to a job that paid more for fewer hours. We get raises every few months and profit sharing every quarter. We slowly began to update our apartment. Now, the only thing we were missing was a couch. The couch was donated to us by our apartment. Someone got evicted from their unit and left everything in there. The office, knowing we don't have a couch yet, gave us the couch. After all of the upgrades we decided to start hosting DD at our house, just me, my BF the DM, my Bill, and my sister who weighs a whopping 375 pounds. My sister couldn't fit into any of our chairs, so she sat on our couch. We originally didn't have a problem with this until we noticed our couch began to divot in the middle and the bar that held the futon together underneath started to bend. My BF and I agreed we'd buy her a chair that spilled for her weight. The chair just came in, and we had DD on Friday. We showed the chair to my sister, hoping she would be grateful, we paid over $100 for this. We're not rich, so we had to dip into our savings to pay for this. My sister got mad at us, accusing us of calling her fat. We tried to calm her down, but trying to calm her down just made her scream more. My bill was telling us to look at what we started, I have to go home to this. You got this couch for free, just buy another one, etc. With my sister screaming in one ear and my bill talking in the other, I lost it. I said summarizing everyone, shut the fk up you are completely right your fat OS is breaking our couch. You can lose weight easily but choose to stay a fat slob. This is a problem you can literally run from, but you chose to be fat and collect taxpayers money to stay home and eat more and gain more weight. Until you lose weight under 250 pounds you're not allowed on our couch again. I admit it was a bit much, and I should have a better control on my feelings. I feel bad for saying what I said on Friday, but it felt good to finally say it. Last night, my bill was texting me, saying my bullying caused her to have a mental breakdown, and I should apologize. I told him I'd apologize when she apologizes for bending our couch. Am I the asshole? For calling my sister fat by buying her a chair that supports her weight. ESH. She is fat and she shouldn't freak out about the chair. You on the other hand spit pure venom back at her. You called her a slob and accused her of just collecting welfare checks. You both grew up in an abusive household and probably cope in different ways. You ever think her weight was a result of that? Not the asshole. OP you tried to be accommodating and she basically threw that in your face. Honestly she deserved that bit of harsh reality and telling you to just buy new stuff is ridiculous. Hey I'm just gonna show up and break your stuff and expect you to pay for it. I think your comments were brutal but she deserved it. ESH. You were not the asshole until your outburst. There was no need to scream about taxpayers money and calling her a fat slob. Just clearly stating that she is damaging your furniture and that is not fair on you was enough. The suggestion of you buying another couch would be enough to kick them out for disrespecting your property. You stated you grew up in an abusive household so her weight, mental health and eating habits may have been due to this. You certainly didn't help here. ESH. Your sister for trying to underestimate or ignore her weight and you for all the hurtful stuff you said in the end. It was sweet that you bought her a chair instead of excluding her altogether but you just can't say stuff like you did, especially not to someone who struggles with weight. It's always sad to see someone who grew up in an abusive household become the abuser to someone else. 
You can lose weight easily but choose to stay a fat slob. This is a problem you can literally run from, but you chose to be fat and collect taxpayers' money to stay home and eat more and gain more weight. I was with you until this which was just fat phobia and a real lack of empathy given she also presumably grew up in an abusive household. It's also not showing any understanding of obesity or weight loss or disability. You now don't even feel bad for the cruel things you said or even recognize them as ignorant. You're the asshole. Sh, but you were unnecessarily cruel to boot. You were not the asshole in the first half, but then quickly flipped the tables and went full R in the second. You should apologize immediately if you haven't already. Not the asshole, you obviously shouldn't have screamed at her but you wouldn't have if she hadn't started the discussion already full on accusing you. I don't believe you should let someone destroy your furniture just to not hurt her feelings. Obesity is a very serious problem and generally should be addressed before it kills the individual. You're the asshole. I love that you complained about growing up in an abusive environment and then detailed all the emotionally abusive things you said. Just love that for you. You're the asshole and it seems a liar. Maybe in a few months we'll tag abuser in that as well. This is the beginning. ESH. There are different reasons why people are overweight for sure, and you did the right thing by buying a specially made couch for her, and I don't think she should have made as big of a deal out of it as she did. However I think your comments went too far and you should apologize for them as they were unnecessary and didn't help the situation, that's the bit for me that made it ESH. Am I the asshole? For calling my sister fat by buying her a chair that supports her weight? Wow op. Way to leave out the fact that you literally yelled at your sister, called her a fat SS, and told her she chooses to be a fat slob just to collect welfare. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You really went to town on fat shaming your sister. And you felt good doing it. That's appalling. Many people have issues with their weight and a reliance on food, many are well aware of those issues but are stuck in how to deal with it. I assume your sister also grew up in this abusive household, have you thought that her weight problem could stem from her childhood? Food becomes a comfort. You were unnecessarily cruel and gained satisfaction from it. ESH. You can lose weight easily but choose to stay a fat slob. This is why you're the asshole, op. It's not that simple, and it's probably related to your reasons for moving out. Sis could have understood the issue better and respected the effort to make her welcome without further damaging the sofa. Yikes. So let's start with the word fat and that it isn't an insult it's an adjective. Your sister is fat. You saying she is fat isn't the problem, it's all the rest of what you said and how you said it that is. You went from justifiably upset to full speed fat phobic. You just told your sister how you really see her in the most degrading, mean-spirited way possible. She's ungrateful and lacks awareness and respect for your belongings. You're a fatphobic jerk who punches way below the belt when upset. ESH. Holy shit like wow and you were satisfied with yourself. You aren't good people. You're the asshole.